couple of flying stories about that one where you and Peter tried to land out in Colorado. I thought that was a pretty good. One. Oh, okay. So uh, Peter's, I was flying out there to uh, to see. We were flying out to see his daughter. She lived in Aspen, and we. Uh, Anybody that's flown into Aspen knows that they have a terrific runway out there, but there's only you only land or take off in, in, in one direction. So you have to fly up there and come around the mountain and uh, make a left turn, steep bank to the left, and there's Aspen down there, about 3,000 feet that you got to lose altitude uh, before you can get to the runway. And <clears throat> By the time you get to the runway and landed and stopped, you realize how way they have such a long runway. <laughs> there's a lot of potential for error. Taking off and leaving isn't so bad. It's uh, it's the option. But landing in there on a private plane is uh, is uh, you got to know your business. And we didn't. <laughs> You got hit by a duck one time. Tell us about that. Okay, I was flying to, from Dodge City to Corpus Christi. I'd been in a uh, board meeting, and it lasted till about, oh, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something. And I took off and headed for Corpus Christi, and I'm at uh, six or 7,000, I think it was 6,000 feet flying along at the dark of night and everything was smooth and all of a sudden I hear this horrific bang on the near the cow or the instruments I couldn't tell so I took I had a flashlight in there and I took the flashlight and looked at the left wing and looked at the right wing and then as I came back across the windshield I saw this uh, green looking stuff on the windshield and I, then as I looked a little closer I could see a feather so I had obviously hit a, a duck flying it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell the duck was doing up at that altitude, but and, and, he didn't have and then I began to wonder why I was up there at all. <laughs> You didn't have any squawk code either, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> About the time that we took off from that little airport up in the, up in the Appalachians with Jim and Lisa. Well, uh, Leroy was in command right there. And uh, I'm sitting in the back seat with my uh, back to the front, and uh, I kept looking down at the ground. And when we took off, there was a mountain out there, but I thought Leroy had complete control. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about it. Trouble is, the ground kept getting closer and closer, and the airplane sounded like it was working its ass off. <laughs> But he made it, boy. We just, you know, a few leaves on there didn't make any difference. <laughs> what, what, what about that uh, deal with the, with the nut out in Dodge City? Was it Dodge City or where was it where you, you did a little more extra marketing? Oh, I don't, I don't think you want to. I'm not. <laughs> no, that's a good one. That's, a good, that's, that's not our rated. That's very clear. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell us about that. Well, it was just a matter of. Uh, I was doing a hospital out there, and, and uh, I had flown out, and uh, the sister, I won't mention her name, was uh, wondering if I, afterwards, after the board meeting, if I'd like a little, uh, a little toddy. And I said, well, no, I'm, I'm flying, and better not. So she kept talking to me until, and then it finally, it finally came through to me that she'd like to have a, I'd like me to have a toddy so she could join me. Well, that sounded all right to me. <laughs> so, uh, so we did that, and then we had a toddy, and then she thought we ought to have another one, so I had another one. And by that time, I figured out that we're going to have to find some place for me to bed down for the night. <laughs> so she had, in an emergency, she had a bed left, and uh, she, she put me to bed in there. And but that, that was the end of it. Right? That was the end of it. <laughs> That, that, that was kind of a fun time. Well, that was a, uh, Leroy cooked this trip up uh, for Kay and I and he to, to uh, go to Seattle and then uh, go down the coast. And that sounded good to all of us. And we had 
we had a big takeoff, send off. We took up there, the flying was was good. Leroy was doing a good job uh, until we got up there heading for Seattle. And we were on an instant flight plan, and, and Roy made the it made the made the FAA pretty mad. He didn't want to he didn't want to take the altitude they wanted him to take. But if he did that. He was going into the clouds, and we were in the mountains. And the guy kept telling him he couldn't find him. You better raise up. But anyway, they had an interesting discussion, and I think Leroy won. <laughs> anyway, we made it to Seattle, and uh, then we went down the coast, and that was probably the best airplane, uh, the best airplane trip I ever had. It was just beautiful going all the way down the coast, and uh, anyway, it was a great trip, fantastic. Thank you. 